breaking. Welcome to today's headlines. Ngosu's case has exposed those behind banditry in Southeast, says IPOP. Ngosu's case has exposed those behind banditry in Southeast, says IPOP. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, I greet you and welcome you to today's news. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has condemned the arrest of the 2019 governorship candidate of the Action Alliance, AA, in Imo State, Uche Ungosu, saying the incident exposed those behind abductions and killing and kidnappings in the state and in southeast. It said, but for the manner in which the action was carried out, some persons in the state would have blamed the shootings and Umwosu's forcible arrest on IPOB. In a statement issued by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, it said, with the global movement and family of IPOB led by Mazi Unamdikanum, Condemn the abduction of Unwosu in the church. This is another vindication that IPOB and the Eastern Security Network ESN are not responsible for the attacks, abductions, and kidnappings in Imo State, contrary to accusations and propaganda of the Imo State government. The incident has also further confirmed the complicity of the government and the All Progressives Congress, APC, in the insecurity in Imo State and the Southeast region. But for the dexterity and fighting spirit of Unwosu's family and associates, the government and some media houses would have, as usual, pointed accusing fingers are the ESN, IPOB, and unknown gunmen. But God has exposed them this time around. The group argued that following the incident, it would not be surprised if Governor O. Uzodima indict Nwosu and Rochas Okorocha as sponsors of IPOB, ESN, unknown gunmen, and insecurity in Imo State. He restated that no single individual could sponsor IPOB, stressing it is a global movement and millions of our family members, home and abroad, remain the source of sponsorship. We have never hidden this fact because we are not a secret or terrorist organization. It is also now clear who created unknown gunmen to demonize and implicate IPOP and ESN operatives. God Almighty would design this fight for Biafra's freedom, has always vindicated us and will continue to vindicate IPOP ESN. Meanwhile, the Anglican and Catholic bishops of Olu Diocese, Benjamin Okeke, and Augustine Okuoma have condemned police invasion of St. Peter's Anglican Church, Umuwokwe, Iziyama Obaire, in Inquiry Council of Imo State on December 26, 2021, to arrest Umuwosu at the Thanksgiving service for the burial of his mother. They therefore urge the federal and Imo state government to investigate the incident and sanction those behind it accordingly. Also, the state chapter of the Christian Association of Nigeria, can condemn the action as its chairman, H.A. Divine, said in as much as Khan was in support of prosecuting those who flout the laws of the land 
their arrest should not be made in the house of God. Okeke and Oku Oma said without prejudice to why Umosu was arrested, the incident constituted an assault on the Anglican Church and the Church of God, stressing while no one is above the law. The violent way the arrest was carried out in a house of worship and during a service with thousands of participants leaves much to be desired. The indigenous people of Biafra Ipop has condemned the arrest of the 2019 governorship candidate of the Action Alliance, AA, in Imo State. Uche Nwosu, saying the incident exposed those behind abductions and kidnappings in the state and south east. It said, but for the manner in which the action was carried out, so persons in the state would have blamed the shootings and Nwosu's forcible arrest on IPOB. In a statement issued by its media, a publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, it said, with the global movement and family of IPOP led by Mazi Unamdikanu, condemned the abduction of Unwosu in the church. This is another vindication that IPOP and the Instant Security Network, ESN, are not responsible for the attacks abductions and kidnappings in Imo State, contrary to accusations and propaganda of the Imo State government. The incident has also further confirmed the complicity of the government and the All Progressive Congress, APC, in the insecurity in Imo State and the Southeast region. But for the dexterity and fighting spirit of Umosu's family and associates, the government and some media houses would have, as usual, pointed accusing fingers at the ESN, IPOB, and unknown gunmen, but God has exposed them this time around. To my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you.